SIAPS is now introducing the Inspector 500, a handheld Raman system that expands the number of samples measured. We demonstrate that this system can be used to identify and verify commonly used substances that were insufficiently measured with 785 nanometer laser excitation. The new system is based upon SWEAR Raman. This allows users to analyze more samples because it suppresses competitive fluorescence, which interferes with measurement of materials in the more commonly used 785 nanometer laser excitation Raman system. There are other SWEAR wavelengths used in field and laboratory environments. However, SIAPS uses 1030 nanometer based upon their proprietary sensor technology that enables the system to operate in a watertight, dustproof package, which allows the system to meet rigorous mil-spec and IP standards. The system can operate with superior performance without extensive cooling such as built-in fans and power-consuming thermoelectric technology, all of which can drag on power consumption. This ruggedized and dunkable system expands its use in hot zones and quarantine areas for emergency responders and pharmaceutical inspectors, respectively. The laser of the Inspector 500 is capable of suppressing or eliminating fluorescence from the sample altogether, so you may ask, where is the problem? Highly fluorescent materials tend to be large, rigid and multi-cyclic organic molecules or certain inorganic pigments. Examples including steroids, cellulose-based materials, estrogens, biological compounds, and sometimes materials with lots of color, such as dyes and pigments. Even certain gemstones tend to give off a lot of fluorescence. We measured nearly 200 USP-based active ingredients and excipients, and nearly 15% of these samples exhibited overwhelming fluorescence that prevents their identification and over 40% of these samples contain significant fluorescence that makes their identification difficult. Microcrystalline cellulose in various forms of MCC are one of the most popular excipients used in the food and pharmaceutical industry. Microcrystalline cellulose in various forms exhibit high levels of fluorescence at 785 nanometer that can prevent its identification and discriminating among the various types. Many explosives, nerve agents, and narcotics exhibit various degrees of fluorescence. Sometimes starting materials for many reactions are very clean and exhibit very little fluorescence. As reactions proceed and heat is generated or applied intermediates and other side reactions can produce high levels of fluorescence. The Inspector 500 enables researchers to track the full extent of the reaction from starting materials to finished products. Another advantage of the Inspector 500 is that fluorescence from packaging is reduced or eliminated completely. Very little glass interference is observed from this glass container and focusing past the container boundary is much less of an issue because no glass fluorescence is observed. The advantage is that the Inspector 500 allows users to analyze powders through thicker glass containers than 785 nanometer laser excitation, and hazardous substances can be safely measured while they remain secured in their packaging. The Inspector 500 offers one of the most advanced material identification and verification platforms available. If your operations require 100% material identification and verification, the Inspector 500 can assist in this endeavor. Its robust design and sensor technology allow its implementation in very harsh environments. For more information about our Inspector 500 or our family of Raman analyzers, contact us at psyapps.com. Thank you.